type of religion, but they oppressed the others. It didn't seem to matter whose back that they had to step on to get what they wanted. Right, right. I mean, the very reason that they came over here, they, they, they denied others, like the Native Americans. Um, and I, I was having this conversation with someone on Facebook the other day about <clears throat> they had put on this thing on, on their Facebook page if if all of the illegals voted Republican, Obama would put up the fence immediately. <laughs> so I looked at it and I said, you know, that's so far out there, I'm not even sure I want to respond. Yeah. And I kept sitting there and kept sitting there. I responded. <laughs> Do tell. <laughs> I responded. Yeah, that part there. <laughs> but it, it was a small response, and I said um, something to the effect of, "But by the grace of God, they were talking about all these children at the border now." And I said something to the effect, "But by the grace of God, there go I." And aren't we lucky? that the Indians didn't put up a fence, where would we be now? You know, so, and then, oh God, that just blew the whole thing. <laughs> Huge explosion and just going all over the place. Well, right? you know, like I said, that, this, that's just my feeling on it. You know, I feel like, you know, it was like, it's just built on greed and lies and deceit, you know, to get away from, you know, you didn't want to be repressed, so you repressed someone else, you used the blacks to build your country, mm -hmm. it was still on the backs of somebody else, so it didn't really matter who they stepped on, on, on how they got here, and then it just exploded from there, yeah. our whole government, yeah. our whole way of being is built on that very same thing, the almighty dollar, those that with the money have the power, right. you know, and screw the little people you know they like I said we wouldn't have ghettos or projects or any of those kind of things if you thought about the what true human beings were rather than the greed and the corporate bullshit exactly, exactly. so it, it's just hard for me it doesn't mean that I'm any more or any less American what is American anyway it's a melting pot we brought you know people from all, all over, over made up the United States mm -hmm. all over mm -hmm. you know yeah. I mean from all corners of the that's a, it shows in the the English language it's made up from all kinds of different right. exactly. you know so uh, to sit here and say you know you're not American because you don't believe in the Constitution well honey you show me a true American yeah well I, I think the people who throw that out don't really understand what it means to be an and they don't understand or believe in the Constitution when they say that. You know, it's just like people used to say, well, you aren't patriotic, you know, or something like that. That's just a way of trying to diffuse or deny what that person is saying. But I think a lot of people, if they stopped and thought about it, it would just make common sense. Well, I said I'm not, you know, I'm just as American as the next person. Yeah. I just, you know, I believe in supporting our troops. I believe in our soldiers. I don't believe in the wars that they go because I don't believe in war, period. But by dang, if my son had feels the, the, the need to do that, to stand mm -hmm. up and to protect this, that, and the other, then it's my job, you know, to stand behind them. Yeah. But it, again, that's as a person, as a human being, you know, not, not has anything to do with a cause. Right. Exactly. A lot of people have a hard time deciphering the difference the, the between difference that. Between right. Two. Yeah. Right. They yeah. just point blank. If you're not yeah. for the war or supporting the war or whatever, you're un-American. Yeah. That's, I don't and, support and war. Well, war well, only begets more war. That's yeah. hate and hate. It doesn't well, a prime example of that was, uh, during the Vietnam War, where our troops were over there fighting, I I would say that the vast majority of the people in this country really did not agree with that war. No, you're, you're right. You know, Nobody agreed with it. No, but such a politician and yeah, corporations. But, but when the when the soldiers came back, 
they were met at airports. Yeah, mis- like mistreated that. something fierce. Yeah, yeah baby awful. killers. Yeah, it was off. Yeah. Yeah, it was just it was terrible the way they were treated when they yeah. came back. As though it was their fault, exactly. rather than you know realized and you yeah, know exactly. just and, and it's so hard how people can't grasp onto that. If you have your child, a year old boy, you know, and you tell that boy to go throw a rock through the window, you, they. You, they're doing what they're told. Mm-hmm. You can't then chastise them because they've done so. Right, right, right. And you can't, like that, you can't have an army that itself is going to necessarily pick and choose where they fight. They'd be fighting when yeah. you would well, necessarily you, yeah, want there's to. Exactly. And, and things like that. But you need an army. You need an army that is willing to go to bat for this country. Yeah. yeah. That's what they're supposed to do. That's the same exactly, country. exactly. And, you know, they can't stand up and say, well, Mr. Bush, I don't think we should go into Iraq. Or, Mr. Bush, I don't think we should go into Afghanistan. That's not the Army's job. Right. And, and getting back to the Constitution, that's the reason they had, they didn't want the military in charge of the government, but they wanted a civilian sitting over the military because they knew how militaries can overthrow governments and become the ruling force in the country. And they didn't, they didn't want that. So they got civilian over the military. But the military, you know, it's, it's been loyal to this country. And each one of them that goes in there, they understand what, what their obligations are. Well, and well programmed when yeah. they get in there, too. Like I said, I, I you know... I have a difficult time, uh, you know, like I said, I don't support uh, the military itself, their thoughts and feelings, you know, I understand it's got to do what it's got to do, and I, I, I get that, and it's unfortunate because if we don't have that to defend our country, someone else will do to us what we did to the people that were already here and come right. and take it, and it and it could be worse, like I said, it could be under dictatorship, and you know, uh, you know, it's not like it hasn't been tried before, but you know, it's just it's just shameful. Yeah. How is it that you you never can get people one minded? You know, why is it so difficult? You know, t- to uh, grasp on to you know, why is it so much easier for war rather than peace? I think because because we as a people, not only in this this country but other countries, we have become so polarized. Because of our own personal desires, beliefs, like I said in that, that bio, you know, we're, we're, we've become polarized by religion, by sect, by race, by political party, you know, all of those things have not drawn us together, but pull us apart, pull us apart. And the very thing that people are saying, well, you know. We need different parties so, you know, different views can be expressed. That sounds good on the surface, but that sound that thing that sounded good is now pulling us apart. I mean, it's just slicing us up. Well, you got other countries looking up right at us. They see that, too, that there's, there, there's you know, there's going to be a breaking point mm-hmm. somewhere, you know, mm-hmm. it, it's about to collapse in on itself in yeah. some aspects. I don't necessarily think I'll see it in my lifetime, but that whole government, the way it's it's going, people are fed up, it's, it's, they're going to have to reinvent themselves mm-hmm. if they want to maintain control. And if they lose control, the masses is not going to be able to defend their country mm-hmm. on, you know, so it's too, too easy to be taken over. Yeah, well, that, but that's that's one argument with the uh, with the NRA and a lot of other people is that you know the people need to be armed in case we're invaded. And I'm saying, unless each one of you has been trained in combat and have some experience in combat, if we are invaded, we're going to be invaded by. A, a military. Right. We're going to be invaded by an army. Right. We're not going to be Organ- invaded by some guy that goes out and hunts, you know, on the weekend. 
That's not who we're going to be invaded by. Right. Yeah, we got some people who could shoot. But like, like Kevin said, you know, the FBI did the study that, you know, guys were shooting, you know, on target and passing. But when they got in difficult situations, their scores dropped like 30, 40 percent. Because they were in a stressful situation. So even the trained, when you find yourself in a combat situation, even the trained, their ability and and to to shoot and fight decreases by thirty or forty percent just because of the stress of the situation. Oh yeah, and if you're so, protecting your own, you're absolutely you know you're going to be able. To... Yeah, so these these guys was running around here with these guns, you know, talking about well they're not going to invade the United States because we've got guns. That's, that's bull. Yeah, that, those are your Americans, though, remember? Yeah, I, I remember? I remember someone said, I won't mention their name because I think you're recording this, aren't you? Yes. Oh, you are? Um, but <laughs> I won't mention their name, but they said that they would uh, they get a surprise with all the guns in the hood. I said, no, they wouldn't. I'm telling you, you, you're talking about a trained military force going into the hood? With people who shoot their guns on them right. sideways? Yeah. Please. I know, right? <laughs> Give me a break. Yeah, there's a big difference between organized and, you know. Yeah. 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 I, that, that Little malicious. mavericks. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, let me get some crazy. Of, 